Uh, welcome here to Sandy Point Nature Reserve in Nam, Melbourne. I'm Dina Curie. I'm going to be emceeing today throughout the day. Um, and it's lovely to be here with you all as we welcome the sun uh, today. And to start things off, we're going to uh, begin with Paul here. Paul Kelly's going to be playing, doing a Yidaki performance as we begin and welcome the sun. So Before I start, okay, I, I acknowledge in my language um, for where we are and, you know, who we stand with. Um, as far as the country goes, so. I, I say Nato Wa, Nato Lingyo Lingya, Pikarong, Kirarong, Bereng, Gunishimara, Kaparong. When I say a hello uh, in my language, um, it's Nato Wa. Okay, Nato Wa is Pikarong language, which belongs down the waterpool area. That's where all my mob come from, to Japarong and Gunishimara. So I acknowledge uh, the elders that were here for us and they're here now today. And they used to wear woman jacket for a day before they greeted here. As far as Yiraki goes, okay, it doesn't come from this area traditionally, but it was made its way down through trade. The way it's hollowed out is termites, but the oldest continuous culture in the world, not so much the oldest culture people, but the old, oldest continuous culture. Well, for me, growing up uh, and going to the local primary school here, and I have my grade six project book, and I did a project about Aboriginal people. And I look back on it now and it was almost like we were doing a project about a mythical sort of culture that was, you know, had gone long ago and there was no real education at all through my high school years and I'm really sad about that. And so it wasn't until we, till we started travelling that there was this whole new awareness of like, wow, this is so wrong, what has gone on? and how can we work to sort of reconcile or to just acknowledge that yeah, what has happened, that our heads have been in the sand for far too long. So I'm so pleased that there is so much more education and awareness out there. Everyone, we want to walk this country and share these stories, share our ways and the stories, the way we share our stories, you know, we've got no dance. There's all few music, um, you know, dancing and the painting the bodies or in the shelters, even of watching the birds, and that, that's part of the story too. The best way to practice that, if you want to know, you've got to puff your cheeks out and squeeze it. So what's happening here, the air's coming out. Each time you press it, it has your nose. All the things we're told not to do is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your, what's your totem? Lingya, the cry hole. That's like the light. Lingya. So that's the hovering bird. Oh, yeah. Right. So, it's protected in so many times from magpie swoops. Oh, right. <laughs> For some, Australia Day is a day to celebrate all the opportunities provided by living in a free, multicultural society. For others, it's a chance to reflect on their own citizenship and what it means to be Australian. And for many, the 26th of January represents a day of sadness, mourning, and a reminder of colonisation. 
The story of Australia is the story of me. It's the story of you. It's the story of we. In parts, it is painful. In parts, it is raw. In others, it is beautiful, inspiring great awe. It tells of many people from far and from wide and those who have been here since the beginning of time. It brings us together and it tears us apart. We all have our views, so where do we start? By listening to each other and sharing our part, we are the story of Australia. Our history dates back 60,000 years at least, and people have visited the shores of the Great Southern Lands for more than 20 centuries. Jeb, President of the Rotary Club of Yarraville, would you like to? Yeah, so I was born in 1975 in North Adelaide, okay. which is on the traditional country of the Kaurna people. And as, as I live every day and listen to the stories of the past, I make a commitment to never let these terrible events of our past happen again. I commit to learning and understanding the needs of the emerging and sharing my knowledge with them. Who here shares these views with me today? It's extremely important that we treasure the languages of the past and listen to the knowledge and about how we live on country. Um, and, and that basically brings us to a bit of a close. Um, so I'd like to thank you all for sharing this moment with us. I'd like to thank um, Paul Kelly, Tony Briffer, uh, Mayor of Hobson's Bay, um, Honourable Melissa Horn, State Member for Williamstown. Um, and thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Thanks,